Hey, it's Clay, CPATMyWay, CPATMyWay.com. Today, I am here to discuss a, uh, a topic that comes up quite a bit, especially in the comments of all of these videos, and that is uh, your CPAP turning off randomly while you're using it. So um, this may or may not be a big issue, but there's a couple of quick things you can check first just to make sure that it isn't an issue. Chances are it isn't a big deal, and you're going to be able to correct it pretty quickly. So. For demo's sake here, today I've got the DreamStation 2 and the AirSense 11. Those are pretty much the most popular ones that are out right now. So chances are you're probably using one of these two if you've had a recent setup for, uh, for CPAP. Um, attached to this AirSense 11, which is what I'm gonna demo this on, is uh, this Evora full face here. So um, what I hope to demonstrate for you is the machine turning off on its own and uh, while it's while I'm using it. So. Uh, I'm going to try it on, show you what I think is happening to you, and then we'll go over how to correct the issue in the machine. So, let's put it on. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and fire up the 11, and then I'm going to show you what I think is happening, and we're going to notice, hopefully, <laughs> this all goes well, the, uh, the machine turning off. All right? All right, so the machine's running. Of course, and there's a pressure. I'm gonna demo your mask touching your pillow and causing a leak. All right, for the sake of communication, I'll take that off, but I don't know, hopefully you noticed there, it did actually shut off and went to the little uh, summary uh, screen for the night. And what happened there is I was kind of demonstrating your mask bumping up against your pillow and some air leaking out of the side of the mask. The machine believes that you have taken your mask off and that um, it needs to shut itself down. It has an auto off feature. What we hear from a lot of people is, yeah, it turns off and it turns back on. Well, it also has the auto on feature. So when it senses you're breathing again, it'll kick the machine back on. So it's a little bit funny in that it... Um, it can turn on and off seemingly on its own, which would seem like a malfunction, but it is actually a feature inside this machine. Best way to resolve this is to get a better mask fit. That may mean trying a different mask or uh, getting a replacement seal for your current mask. In fact, I've got a link I'll put in below about um, how to troubleshoot mask leaks. Um, it's a blog that we have. It's very helpful to kind of guide you along the way if it is a mask related issue. If it's just something you feel like you can't resolve. You're always going to have some minor leaks of some nature that you think are causing it. You can disable the feature in both of these machines. So I'm going to take you through that process here as well. If you don't have one of these machines, um, you can refer to our, our regular channel page. You should be able to find uh, clinical instructions on how to get to those settings in other machines as well. I just don't want to cram it all into this one video. So, so let's jump in on the machine and uh, take a look at those settings. All right, so let's take a look at this AirSense 11. Uh, clinical men here. Just also a, a preface, uh, if you don't feel comfortable going into this menu and staying out of the other settings, please don't mess with this because there are all of your therapy settings in here too. We're going to avoid those in this video. So to get into that, we're going to place both fingers on these two little icons at the same time and hold them until the screen changes. All right, now we're in clinical home. We're going to go to settings. And we're going to ignore all of this stuff. So scroll down by swiping up until you get down to options where you will see smart start and smart stop. Smart start is what enables the machine to turn on automatically when it senses your breath. Smart stop is what turns the machine off when it believes that you've taken the mask off. So if you're having those horrific leaks and it's not something you can resolve and you really just want to disable that, you touch that and it will disable the smart stop, okay? You could also obviously disable the smart start if you didn't want it to turn on automatically as well, but you know that's up to you. Uh, as far as fixing this issue, the smart stop should help for sure. And then from there, just touch this little home up in the top corner and then hit exit. You will not have changed anything clinically and it will have turned that feature off. All right, so that was a quick run through on the AirSense 11. Um, the next one I told you I would talk about is the DreamStation 2 here. Unfortunately, on the DreamStation 2, you do not get that access on the machine itself, even in the clinical menu. So what you'll have to do is reach out to your provider 
and your provider will access the Care Orchestrator backend, which is the cloud-based software that uh, links up to these machines, they will have to disable that feature for you. So you should be able to just give them a ring. They can sync up and get that disabled for you if that's what you want done, of course. As always, it is best to just resolve the mask leak. Uh, but I understand that you know some people are just in a predicament where that's not um, you know as easy as it sounds. So it is an option for you here. So the two things you can do is obviously fix the mask leak or disable the feature, maybe even a combination of both. Hopefully that'll get rid of your issue. If it doesn't, it may need to go in for a, uh, for a repair or replacement. So um, your provider should be able to help you out with that as well. So as always, if you enjoyed the info, please hit us with a thumbs up, subscribe for more info, comment with any questions or additions that you have experience wise on this as well. Thanks for watching.